The following is a presentation of TFNN. Time to talk about your health. Living a primal lifestyle. Yeah, we have Tom on t from Tampa on the phone. Hey, Tom. Good morning. It's bright and early now, huh? Hey, thanks. Good. Hi, Tom. How you guys doing? Me doing great. Good. Hey, um, your newsletter is outstanding, man. I'm, I'm telling you, man, it is outstanding. And so is the Run My Leg. I love that stuff. I'd never be without it. I mean, I've been on it now three, four months, man. I mean, it's just I can't get over how good I feel. Prime Wedge is, uh, you know, people are raving about it. People who are trying it, they know because you can feel it. We'd not be without it. Call now. Toll free at one 877 927-6648 internationally at 727-445-1044 now your hosts nico dehan and paige clark well good morning and welcome to living a primal lifestyle i am paige clark and this is where we explore a return to a more balanced natural and wild world yes to recover our, uh, our natural health and regain our rights and freedoms i'm nico dehan and it is 81 degrees where it's 81 and having fun in florida Hope uh, you're having nice weather where you're at. And I want to remind you to pick up our Health Signals newsletter. This comes out twice a month in your inbox. You can even use Tiger Dollars if you're part of the DEN or part of the whole Tiger Network. And uh, it's really news you can use to stay healthy and continue the conversation in the stuff that Nico and I grab all month long for, to help you stay healthier. That's right. And the number here, uh, if you'd like to call in or talk to us, uh, the number is 877-927-6648. Of course, you can reach us after hours anytime at nico at tfnn.com. And email. me at page at tfnn.com. Yeah. So, so awesome. Well, you know, last uh, Thursday, I, I started discussing the subject of our the fact that we have two genomes. Yeah. And most of the scientific research has been focused on our nuclear genome because they're looking for they want to perpetuate the idea that your genes control your destiny. Well, the wonderful work of Bruce Lipton and other scientists have proven that that just is not the fact, that the DNA is actually a blueprint, mm -hmm. but that the environment and maybe the membrane is truly the brain, mm -hmm. sensing the environment and changing the recipe as needed based on the environment. Yeah, we've got lots of things that on a, in us that can be switched on or off depending on how we live, what we eat, what we drink, what uh, toxins are in the environment. And this is kind of what can change the way your body is meant to uh, be healthy. Right, Nico. And it's so interesting. I was listening to this great talk uh, by Bruce Lipton um, yesterday. I posted it on Facebook. But as he explained, everyone keeps using the word switching on and off. The DNA doesn't switch on and off just mm -hmm. like you don't it's a blueprint, right. but it's because of the environment, the expression has changed. And the key point is we are empowered to make these changes. And instead, what we've been, what's been perpetuating is the idea that we need a savior to save us mm -hmm. from our genes well, and our destiny. It's already here, actually. actually. Right. Well, the, <laughs> well, the savior is yourself. Yeah. You are empowered to help change your environment. And as I like, you know, people will say, is you know I'm on the Jack Cruz forum and people say oh can I get well if I do this and this and this and he continually says you cannot get well in the same environment in which you got sick no that makes a lot of sense and you know food folks and we talk about food we love food we like educating about food because it's something that we all enjoy it's something we all do and um, we feel that's an important part of the environment but I'm gonna be diving more deeply into sharing with our listeners the other facets of our environment, our sleep, our exposure to light, our exposure to grounding magnetism from the earth, and I want to and and the structuring of water, and not just the water we drink, but the fact that our mitochondria make the water that becomes the structured water that we get from the sun. Yeah, well, we're going to try to simplify it too, because uh, you know, reading all these articles is very complicated. Even though I, I I get a grasp and I understand what they're saying, I get lost in some of the big words and some of the well, you don't things. Have to worry but about it, yeah. I, I think basically what what we're concerned about is that we were born into this world, and this world is a fantastic world. And if we just live naturally, it seems like everything falls into place. But somewhere along the line, things have changed. We've got more pollutants. We have less of what we we really need out like we were out in the wild so that changes us and it wasn't the food really, really changes I think the food changes us somewhat but it's not the oh, it's only an thing it's an important thing but yes. I think we've become so so fixated on it 
um, and and it's part of the political divide, right? You yeah. and I were talking about that last week. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like um, left and right, and it's um, meat eater or not meat eater, and and these divides instead of looking at the whole picture. Mm -hmm. So the goal here is not to overcomplicate it. In fact, it's actually neat because I want to take us back to the fact that. Uh, you know, you look at the picture on the Telestrator, I mean, the cover of the Health Signals newsletter, there's a path to being well, and, it, and it's pretty clear uh, nature has the correct path. That's why I chose that picture. Yeah. I know. I love it. I've always loved that picture. So I think that um, the more we can get back to how nature designed us to work, the better. And the neat thing is most of these things we're going to talk about are free. Today, I'm going to just do an introduction on, on the mitochondria. We talked about it last Thursday. Yep. So, you know, we're just going to remind you of some key points. We'll touch on some supplements that we, that, that need to help you, but we're, then we're going to dive back into Dr. Jack Cruz's world and some of these other researchers that are looking at how the mitochondria respond. Because again, we have the genetic, we have two genomes. We have our nuclear DNA, which is a blueprint, mm -hmm. but we have our mitochondrial DNA, which is the bacteria that we co-opted. Mm -hmm. And this is in actually, order to, in this, order so that we could evolve and turn into the species we are today. Yeah, and this is the bacteria that's in the cell itself. Yeah, this they're in the a, cells providing the energy. Yeah. And it was, and and as you remember from last week, we inherit our mitochondrial DNA from, our, from mother. our mother, who, based on how she is, her membranes, the memory, the brains of the cell, her membranes are interpreting the environment you know, these bacteria respond. Mm -hmm. So the key is now we're going to look towards beyond cell health. We're going to go to mitochondrial health, mm -hmm. getting it down to a smaller level. As again, we're going to talk a little bit about the biochemical side of keeping the mitochondria, food and supplements and stuff like that. But we're going to dive into the biophysics, something we, none of us ever really learn enough yeah. in school and here. I, I had a question the that I, I kind of answered myself, but I wanted to ask you is why did nature pick the female to pass on these things to us. Oh, because we're just better. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that one. I guess I fell into that. No, but I think uh, that the female of the species, uh, uh, and I think this uh, occurs throughout different species, is the more stable one. It's the one that's in place. It's the one that's more centered. It's the one that thinks about the children and the offspring. The men don't. I mean, we do have that in us, too, but we go off and we hunt and we do all kinds of crazy things. Uh, the women is what brings us back to the base, and that's kind of the way I'm looking at it. I love the it. way sometimes you ask questions, and then it's kind of like, yeah, that's a good question. You know, what is it? So maybe we'll just uh, figure out why is that. But, um, you know, so many researchers are just saying it is just pretty amazing of how we inherit this energy system uh, of the cell. And, I mean, the mitochondria from our female DNA, it, it's, it's part of the coding. Mm -hmm. So let's go into it a little bit. We've got a, got a break coming up, so we're going to talk about, first, improving your mitochondrial, D, uh, mitochondrial DNA. Part one is the function of your mitochondria. We're going to define that a little bit for you because mitochondria are one of the most important structures of our cells, and that's what we are, is a big bag of water and cells, and they determine if your cells actually are going to live or die. So let's figure out these important tips. And Make sure meantime, you pick up that primal edge. Yeah, because if you want your uh, mitochondria to act right, you need some fuel, and this is probably the best fuel you can get with all the 310 organic cell-ready ingredients powered by Because they fubic, come from Mother Earth. Yeah, and they are powered by fu uh, fumic and humic acid, the things that kind of detox us and That's put right. the right stuff in the right place. Stick around, folks. We'll be right back. Be right back. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. 
Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Page of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Trading is different than investing, but the opportunity to take advantage of short-term trends is only one if you get the direction right. Direction leveraged and inverse ETFs offer bold trades on U.S. and international stocks and bonds. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Nico and Paige take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. And welcome back to the show. So we're talking about micron, uh, mitochondria. Uh, it's a membrane enclosed within the cell. This is a, a structure known as what we call the power plants of the cell. And the cells uh, it allows the cell to generate most of the cell's supply of T, uh, ATP, which is the gener adenosine kind of triphosphate, which yeah. is our energy currency. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of like uh, it's it's the money in the cell that actually goes out and pays and receives things so it's it's really the communication of the cell that goes out and tells everything else what to do so right. it's really an important process and this transport of uh, uh, energy that goes in the cell can be metabolized and when it transports this energy all over the place it just kind of, just kind of just itself. repeats itself over and over again so as long as the the energy transfer is there as long as we're feeding it properly through the water and the light and the, food the environment and the so environment that, that it's getting what it needs from this, the environment this process can take place so it really doesn't matter if you're eating or not eating uh, if you're drinking or not drinking this process goes on regardless so it's just really powerful um, to think about that our mitochondria are responsible for cellular signaling in our body, for the differentiation, what makes a muscle cell or a skin cell, mm -hmm. and cellular death, life and death. And so when you really put your head around that and you go, wow, these mitochondria, which really aren't us, Mm -hmm. It's a bacteria mm -hmm. that we have incorporated into our cellular structure, symbiotic a relationship. symbiotic relationship requiring cell-to-cell -cell communication. That's why the communication between cells and other species mm -hmm. is so crucial. It's really powerful. It's kind of mind-blowing to me because the cellular signaling is communication within the cells or between the cells, and it's done on a biochemical level. So cellular signaling occurs so that cells can maintain homeostasis. Hey, are you going to do that? Yeah, I'll do this. You do that, and I'll do this. So they're communicating because mm -hmm. homeostasis occurs when a system regulates its internal environment in response to its external environment so that the system can remain stable and control the variables, including temperature and pH and all these 
biochemical all these little markers. balances that we have, mm -hmm. you know what I envision of course is uh, the pristine uh, like the picture on our health signals newsletter with that path going down is we're walking this path and we're receiving energy from the Sun we're receiving energy from the plants and the animals that are close to us or even maybe farther away uh, certainly getting energy from the soil through the, mag the magnetic the part magnetic of it, part mm -hmm. of it our electric being so we have all this going on and it just makes me think of why I want to eat really pristine great food that I do want to get that sunshine that uh, the Creator kind of made th there for us that we have to have and that pure water that vortexes through waterfalls uh, you know so I, I when I, I read this stuff I'm envisioning the natural world working for me and I'm so glad because that's kind of what I'm wanting us to do I want to mm -hmm. really I just feel like so much of this information is is crucial because I want all of us to become more empowered and realize we really are yeah. the ones that give ourselves And the, ourselves the other side of the coin that I see then is the blockages of the concrete and the buildings stopping the sun from coming in, changing uh, the way uh, our environment is hitting us. We're not getting what we used to get. You got it. And that's exactly what Jack Cruz, who's got some controversial... You know, people that are really like, what's he talking about? Well, even even a lot of people yeah. in the paleo sphere, because he, you know, his book, Epi Paleo mm -hmm. prescription, okay? Above Love. Paleo, he's saying it's more than that. You've got to understand how to get back those natural um, ways that nature wanted to interact with us mm -hmm. so that the right things can happen. So and, and, and the thing that we're trying to do with art, all this artificial stuff that's coming in, we're trying to really change things for the better supposedly but because these are not the natural pathways that's what's getting well, us into problems. Well we're changing things for our convenience and our entertainment factor. Well I think it's more than that I think it's for the money. Oh absolutely. Yeah. Well there's money made in giving us things that are entertaining us or making our life simpler but we'll, as we will find out uh, many of these conveniences that we have today, such as non-native EMF, electromagnetic frequencies, the sun gives us the ones that are good for us, but the ones that are coming from all of these devices that we have are absolutely uh, destroying our health and I'll our quality of life. I'll give you a little example of what I'm talking about. Remember, I went on that trip a couple of months back. Right. And this is probably one of the most exciting things I've ever done, going out in the wild, looking for a creature that may or may not exist, being out there with a couple of buddies, my son. This is what I'm talking about. Now we have people that uh, were injured in Ohio in this uh, ride for thrills. Basically, when we go, go, go to a park and get on these silly rides, it's to get the thrill. But there's no more thrill than nature is. Ah, oh, you got it. Like so seeing a magnificent kind of, waterfall yeah, and hearing that exactly. vortexing. And, or spinning in a thing for two minutes where a couple people got killed. I always just got, got sick on those. Yeah, that's yeah, so, awful. Well, I don't do it just because it's not the type of thrill I'm looking for. I'm looking for the natural ways of thrilling. It. So. You got it. So let me just continue. Cellular differentiation is what we were saying, that that's one of the responsibilities of the mitochondria. That tells you whether the cell that's going to be manufactured is going to be a skin cell or a heart cell or a lung cell the key thing is that the cells are all the same the <laughs> blueprint see that's right. that's the blueprint for part. making these cells is the same the DNA it's rather static it's the change of the sensing of the environment the mitochondria play yeah, a key every part. single cell in our body has the blueprint for our whole body this yeah. is amazing yeah so finally the third thing is that the mitochondria regulates cell death which is very important in ma maintaining homeostasis you know cellular death is extremely important because when cells eventually become kind of worn out or mutate um, the cell is designed to sort of say hey I've enjoyed the ride but it's time to move on mm -hmm. <laughs> you know and they terminate themselves yeah. so that they don't become rogue and and start you know interfering with the environmental sensing so and if these cells don't yeah, yeah if they don't terminate properly this can cause problems in the body, which can be the foundations of diseases such as cancer. Because that's what cancer is. It's when cells have lost their ability to get the message that it's time to check out. Yeah, and they go, so they continue around, to multiply. They go around trying to find other things like the binding, the, the sugars binding with the proteins. The glycation. The glycation, yeah. which causes all kinds of problems. So this is mm -hmm. what our cells are doing when they don't get the right signaling. They're just going rogue, kind of like ISIS in our body. Mm -hmm. so, so we can talk a little bit here about what are some of the healthy foods in our supplementations that have been that are being studied to help increase mitochondrial 
function and biogenesis. And we're going to talk about a few of these on, you know, as we continue. And again, as I said, we're going to go to how nature mm -hmm. prescribed food and supplements. And I think of supplements primarily as a way to get things that for whatever reason we're not getting in our food today because it's really not the same as what it was. And uh, then we can talk a little bit about the, con you know, uh, go over the information of what contributes to the mitochondrial diseases. I think you'll be quite surprised to find out that most of the diseases that we're suffering today, the chronicity, the chronic diseases that are really what are absorbing 75% of our healthcare dollar today are chronic disease issues. And guess what? These chronic disease issues are all mitochondrial related diseases. Yeah. And yet what's going on? Industry is spending billions and millions and trillions of dollars trying to find the cure for cancer in our nuclear DNA. You're not gonna find it there, folks. No, well, it's kind of like the world. It's in the environment. Yeah, it's kind of like the world situation. Is if we look at all the skirmishes around the world, people, you know, uh, disrupting and doing all kinds of bad things like ISIS and the mm -hmm. Taliban and all those things. Kind of the, what's happening in our body, kind of like above and below type of thing. Yeah, you know, you this it. is what's happening in our bodies. It's the same type of thing. It can't be cured by waging war on those things. It has to be done. An internal shift has to be done. Stay tuned. We're going to give you some really cool information. Be right back. We'd like to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of, Performance Training. Since 1998, Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically. As a certified personal trainer, Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions. The Performance Training Studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balanced results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727-418 8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com let him know you heard him on tfnn and save up to 100 dollars on a special package just for tfnn listeners act today Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. So we're talking about the fact that mitochondrial misfunction, uh, dysfunction, is actually at the heart of most of the chronic diseases that are absorbing the majority of our healthcare dollar today. 
and you know these are cardiovascular blood sugar related diseases mental diseases neurological diseases it could, we could the list goes on but let's talk about mitochondrial function and for example heart health so you can see how important these are you know, um, Nico, maybe you want to explain how mitochondria are extremely important for energy production. Well, it's vitally important because the heart is considered your body's most important muscle, and, and uh, the mitochondria really affects the muscle and the signaling to the to these yeah, muscle they, the cells. Yeah, the heart requires a constant stream of energy, and after all, it is an electric. Yeah, and our, uh, everything in our body is trying to uh, stay uh, homeostasis. That's I mean, right. We want to get back to normal function. That's the whole purpose And this, of this. is an interesting statistic. Uh, the largest concentration of mitochondria are actually in the heart. Mm -hmm. You know, for example, the average bicep muscle mm -hmm. has 40 mitochondria in the, each cell. Okay. Okay? But the average heart muscle cell has about 4,000. So that's a tremendous, you know, multiple. And this shows multiple. the importance of the heart because when, once the heart stops functioning normally, then your life is pretty much over in, in a sense. And that's a great show just in itself. Uh, little do we realize that your electrical field of your heart mm -hmm. is bouncing off the, that wall. Mm -hmm. All of our electrical fields as a result of our hearts are, are many feet, maybe 10, 20 feet, 30 mm -hmm. feet above us, below us, and all around us. Yeah. So we're bumping up on our electrical fields because yeah, we're so sitting the, so close. The, the, the importance of the mitochondria to the heart is enormous because it has the most function relating to it, and this is the thing that keeps us alive. And we know that all these uh, veins that we have that go to the heart are part of the heart because they're the ones that pulsing and making that heart work, like we discussed in the previous show, that the heart is not really a pump, but it's a receptacle mm -hmm. of, mm -hmm. of that. It's that, well, it's part of the electrical energy that yeah. happens and that actually for the biophysics of blood pumping, we now know that the heart is not the pump, that it's actually a... Receiver of... It's, it's the fact that the endothelial at the tiniest capillary level <clears throat> is responsible for moving the blood at mm -hmm. that level. Right. And all of this is controlled by electricity. Right. <laughs> and our best source of electricity is, is the, the sun. sun. Right. So... so um, Let's go on. The heart having this high mitochondrial concentration is why heart attacks are very damaging to yeah. heart muscle. And the heart muscle requires a lot of energy and oxygen to function properly. And when it's deprived of these necessities, the heart muscle begins to die off very quickly. And extreme mitochondrial dysfunction begins. If a person has a heart attack, for example, or if they are recovering from one, there are certain supplements that can help with mitochondrial function. Yeah. And one of the biggest one that we uh, use would be CoQ10. CoQ10, yeah. correct. And L-carnitine. These mm -hmm. are both uh, supplements. And again, nutrients that, are, that would be found in pristine food mm -hmm. are important. Most of these are found in animal-based foods. Yeah. Isn't and that the, interesting? And the interesting part, too, <coughs> is that statin drugs Excuse cause me. more damage to the heart Yeah, say that real loud time. again, that word. Statin drugs. Yeah. See, they I want everyone to damage. understand because yeah. this is my nemesis. Yeah. Most people then elevated cholesterol would never accomplish that. They say statins interfere with CoQ10 production by limiting the necessary CoA cholesterol pathway. Coenzyme A cholesterol pathway that is needed to produce CoQ10. So that's worth repeating because Statin drugs cause far worse damage to the heart muscle uh, than fact, any um, elevated cholesterol. As we know, elevated cholesterol in fact, is it's not on the type warning type. label about the muscle dysfunction. It is on the label as a warning. In Europe, it's, they never prescribe a statin without right. a CoQ10. Yeah. But here, they're very sloppy about yeah. it. Only if people learn about it and they go, oh, I read on the Internet that I should have CoQ10. It should be malpractice. If you're going to prescribe a drug, but this is the way it is, folks, and this is what I want you to get from this. All drugs are mitochondrial poisons. And why would we want to poison the energy no, system no. of our body? It right. doesn't make sense. What, what, why would we want to poison the very organ, organelles that control cellular life and death? What sense does that make? Uh, it makes no sense, folks. No, and, and uh, actually, my wife Ellen was on statins for a few years before we started on the primal Because her doctor diet. told her. Because her doctor told her, and then when we started reading the research, uh, she decided to go off of it, and she could feel the difference. Uh, 
with, with the muscles herself, muscles in her legs, the large muscles uh, were deteriorating in her legs. And when, we, when extremely she tried, fast. Yeah, exactly. She could feel it. Oh, she absolutely. She could feel the weakening herself. So. Yeah. Uh, and she's recovered now, but unfortunately, some people never quite recover from the statin damages. Yeah. And, and it, other people, it takes many, many years. And I'm not recommending people to go and get off their statins. I do want them to get off of it, but you need some counseling and. Again, never. You decisions. know, don't ever take what we're saying. Discuss it with your informed doctor. Note, I said informed doctor <laughs> because there is a lot of great research, and in fact, there's a lot going on in the world. I posted some articles this week mm -hmm. on some new news. Uh, with the, you know, just to digress for a second, as we see, whenever people start moving away from something that the establishment wants us to embrace. Mm -hmm. They want us to embrace statins because they're the most profitable drug ever produced in the world. Mm -hmm. And now that we are making our own minds up about informed medicine and we're deciding the research actually shows these are dangerous for us, I think I'll pass and I'll find another way to make my heart healthy. I think I'll a lot strengthen of people the are medicine. doing this, yes. Well, just yeah, this last week, uh, a, a prominent cardiologist out of the Cleveland Clinic came out and, and made all kinds of comments about how internet people were encouraging people not to take statins. We're encouraging you to become empowered and having informed consent, something you're not getting because the research clearly states that these are dangerous drugs yeah. and have risks. And if you are going to proceed, know these risks and take, take action. Yeah, so, and, and there's many doctors that will prescribe uh, the statins at 55 for everybody. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, yeah, yeah. The statistics, thing. the statistics clearly show that as we get uh, above 60s, 70s, yeah. uh, you have a chance of living longer. Yeah. The higher your cholesterol they, is. They did a uh, query on doctors, and uh, doctors' uh, wives uh, ha do the most statins. Yeah. Because uh, they were educated to say at 55, you might as well start taking it because sooner or later you're going to need it. Is kind of the mm -hmm. query about yeah. it. Yeah. So what happens if your mitochondria is in poor health? More electrons leak in during the chemical reactions. These leaks produce a greater increase in the oxidative stress. Think about the sticky... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, because we're talking now, you've, we kind of switched you know, from the heart muscle, but we're talking about now about mitochondria and aging in general. Yeah, exactly. Because they are the power plant, and this leakage of high-energy electrons in mitochondria uh, can cause this oxidative stress in right. both the mitochondria and the cellular level. Yeah. So, I mean... We know that um, free radicals are a part of cellular respiration, so we're going to have them, and we need to have them. That means we're doing some work. Right. But what we have to do is have them balanced with our natural um, the body can handle, endogenous yeah, The body handles the natural ones really well. Uh, we're living in a pristine world, and we're going out hunting and stuff like that, and we have free radicals. Our body can handle those. It's the modern ones that right. come from lack of sunlight, from poor water, from an, our environment being toxic, and then the food being bad. This is what is damaged. Us. Correct. Well, and all so, those four things. So, you know, extensive oxidative damage creates the environment that, that makes a, uh, you know, shock, heart attacks, and strokes more likely or disease states yeah, to happen. Yeah, this is why we really have to clean up our act and not just the food, but also the environment, the chemicals, everything we use. We have to look at each one of those things. So, folks, please stick around. Uh, pick up the Primal Edge during the break. Take a look at my health signals leader. I got a dynamite one coming up on Tuesday. So Good stick around for that. And uh, we'll be right back. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. 
Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White has just announced a new online course that he'll be premiering to his subscribers the evening of July 26th, the next wild, wild west of computing. Machine learning will be the biggest growth area for tech companies in the next 10 years. Make sure you're ready to capitalize on that opportunity. With over 50 types of algorithms and growing, Dave White will tell you why there are so many areas for companies to apply this to their business to both sell and consume. Right now, you can get a 30-day free trial to either of Dave's newsletters, Path of Least Resistance and The Technology Insider, as well as get a 30-day money-back guarantee when ordering Timing the Trade charts. Don't miss out on the next wild, wild west of computing as it premieres July 26th for all subscribers to Dave White Services. For all the details and to sign up today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back to the show. So uh, mitochondria is kind of interesting because the uh, essence of the mitochondria actually came from plants and was given to the animals to solve lots of different problems with communication. And it allowed so us to advance. It allowed us to advance. So it's actually plant life that kind of uh, filled the gap for the animals to have this signaling. So these more complicated species, w which I would say uh, animals are, uh, can live. And we have this great relationship with plants because they're part of our food, they're part of who we are. That's right. So, And uh, you can see that uh, photosynthesis is, is part of the plant life, but it actually kind of works with us too, because photosynthesis is what provides this mitochondria with its energy. That's exactly right. The sun energy contributes right. to the energy of all living things, from a tree to a small bacterial life, like a mitochondria, to human beings. Yes. So where before we were just kind of touching on some of the biochemical, traditional knowledge of what mitochondria are, let's go down the Jack Cruz hole and learn a little bit about uh, you know highlight the biophysics you know quantum physics is the is the science that's the future of health and life study of life and really understanding what's going on and yes we're going to touch on you know we've already touched on what mitochondria are um, and what do computer chips and mitochondria have in common well this is really interesting because uh, they work kind of the same way because the energy that is uh, over those disks that we use is exactly the way that our like, ATP and our mitochondria like work. semiconductors folks exactly so and we uh, so, so we're going to cover some interesting information we've already covered about the mitochondria and and as Nico said, mitochondria were stolen by animal cells from a primitive bacteria. And uh, this really allowed simple plants and yeast cells to no longer be a prisoner to the low energy generation of fermentation, right. which is, by the way, the energy currency used by cancer cells. So mm -hmm. it's really a cancer is really an attempt to survive, to go back to a primitive form of existence and to mm -hmm. go into photosynthesis for energy production. But... Let's talk about this fact that semiconductor engineers get paid massive amounts of money mm -hmm. in Silicon Valley to make sure electrons move across a silicon wafer as fast as possible, right? Right. We pay the money yep. for the faster computers, mm -hmm. right? So, well, evolution actually did the same thing. Uh, this was about two to three billion years ago. Mitochondria allow electrons to dance over their inner membrane, think semiconductor type crystalline matrixes mm -hmm. or whatever, uh, and this allows them to make uh, their inner membrane to make energy. So now animal cells contain thousands of these power plants, 
The mitochondria, remember, were co-opted by us, uh, and they're in our, all of our cells. So the amount of DNA found in mitochondria is even more impressive. So the mitochondria themselves have their own DNA, or as we said, DNA is actually a blueprint. Um, so they have 10 to 20 times more mitochondrial DNA than nuclear DNA even today. So that means there's more mitochondrial DNA in our body than the nuclear DNA genome that we've been studying. Right. Jeez. And, again, this article uh, from Dr. Jack Cruz says, Moreover, we inherited our entire mitochondrial DNA from our mothers. We get none from our dads at all. Right. Jeez. And if you did, you would get a mitochondrial disease and likely die a very early death. In fact, this is the reason animals have two sexes to replicate. We need a male and a female to make sure the inheritance of mitochondrial DNA is perfect. It has to have nanoscopic precision in order to work perfectly in all animals, including us. I was just wondering if he was going to answer that question you asked about why we got it from our moms. Well, he's saying that the woman is more perfect than the guy. <laughs> well, okay. That's why we like you, you so You said much. it, not me. Yeah. You know, so we, we understand that it's through across these inner membranes on the mitochondria that we generate the ATP, which is our energy. And so, in effect, we are acting as semiconductors. Yes. So what is a computer doing they're exchanging and it's the speed of light yeah. correct the energy mm -hmm. so where is the best source of light the sun, the sun. you know yeah. and really in fact that's what we all are is sunlight slowed down matter is light slowed mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so and that's what produces all of us yeah of course the food generates the energy for this uh, mm -hmm. along with the light and the water and things like that Oh, one of the interesting things in this article I found is that the I issue of the Inuit people adapting to the cold weather because uh, they have a higher protein need and they uh, do have a lot more fat in their environment, so they eat a lot more fat, where the native species and then the natives around uh, the equator uh, ate a lot more plant food. Had because of the photosynthesis is producing the food. Exactly. The Inuits had no food. They're covered in ice. Right. So they had to become extremely fat adapted and, right. and use fat. And I really love explaining. He, Dr. Jack Cruz talks about getting your DNA tests, mm -hmm. mostly so you can learn what your haplotype is. And mm -hmm. that gives you an indication of your uh, genetics and where your ancestors came from. Yeah. So, for example, if you have Irish or Dutch mm -hmm. heredity, it doesn't make much sense for you to sit around and eat a banana in the middle of winter. Especially if I'm in the North Pole. Right. Well, because yeah. yeah, exactly. Especially if you're up there. Yeah. Now, what he talks about is, you know, where you are actually living now and mm -hmm. making sure your mitochondria adapt to the environment. And you'd think of the, here in Florida, we'd eat a lot more fruits and vegetables, which I think we do. But uh, then we have the aspect of us living in houses and working in buildings and not getting the sun that we used to get. So, because the sun is the programmer, yeah. is the part of the software system yeah. for our hardware. Of yeah, so we're not energy. outside in the uh, what 91 degrees today. Uh, we're in the air conditioning. We're at 75 or 78 degrees. So that really changes the way we are. So then the food changes. Your requirement changes, mm -hmm. and this makes sense. But it even changes more because now we're talking about an artificial type of environment as opposed to the natural environment, which changes constantly. That's the very artificial true. does not change at all. Yeah. And if it changes, we're upset. So one of the things we start to learn when we um, go down Jack Cruz's uh, forum and so forth is that there's the issue of coupled and uncoupled DNA. Mm -hmm. And um, the idea is um, the way that the Inuit have been adapted to the cold Arctic, as you mentioned earlier, they clearly have mastered uncoupling their mitochondria. Their diets were adapted to the high protein and fat, and this promoted leptin sensitivity. And this helps us to function and they, so that they could actually make heat. They became susceptible. They used cold to stimulate leptin sensitivity, whereas someone at the equator is going to use the sunlight mm -hmm. to yeah. uh, and, and you can see this in native uh, cultures that have been uh, made to adapt to the modern culture. Their health goes, it declines. We can see this in our native Indians. You can certainly see it in the Inuit people if they start uh, eating cereal and pasta and things like that. Their teeth rot. They, they get fat. Uh, their health Perfect declines. Perfect example. You know, some people say, I mean, you know, I don't know, and I'm just stating this, but people have said, oh, a lot of people in the U.K. have really bad teeth. Well, they're eating a bunch of starchy foods mm -hmm. in the middle of the cold, mm -hmm. right? Doesn't make any sense. 
doesn't make it and that's what he says no no you know that's where this whole eating foods out of season that's not primal and that's what we're about is let's go back to how it would have been if we didn't have these conveniences so yeah and the, the whole point of this show is really to just show you that uh going the natural way and at least looking at that part of it to uh clean up your act is is the way to go that's what we do here on uh, living a primal lifestyle mm -hmm. so i hope that came across anyway we'll be right back we've got a break coming up we have another segment so stick around folks uh pick up the primal edge and of course our brand new health sequels newsletter is coming up tuesday that's good we'll be right back yep. I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. No matter where you're listening to TFNN programming, you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern, and you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones, iPads, and Android devices. Located in the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage, you can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV. But if you don't have a connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit tfnn.mobi in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and call-in talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com Educating Investors of next nine before nine with john logan on tfnn so yeah we are learning that mitochondrial health is at the apex of being healthy and we're going to continue to discuss mitochondrial health i'm part of jack uh jack cruz's forum you guys can be too uh there's going to be a lot of information because really it's it's important that we realize our mitochondria is the powerhouse of every cell in our body and we make our energy and without healthy mitochondria, you know, we're not going to be able to be efficient at warding off things like cancer and weight gain and gland efficiency and hormonal health and aging, blah, 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 blah. So there's a lot of dialogue in the medical community uh, about leaky gut, okay? Mm -hmm. And But the next wave of dialogue, folks, is going to be about mitochondria and its efficiency in helping us keep our long telomeres so we age well. So this is going to be a big topic that we're going to stay on the cutting edge, so stay tuned. But I want us to go now and kind of, you know, 
when you watch the regular news, you get the weather every day. Yeah. But we're not here to give you the weather every day. But the weather we're going to share with you is what we think is more likely the scenario. We've been discussing the fact that uh, Nico really kind of brought it to my attention that we're truly entering a, a grand solar minimum with coming colder temperatures, despite what many people in the climate change arena are saying. We, we agree there's definitely going to be climate change. And we're experiencing different things, but the truth is we're going in a direction of cold. And I found this article from Dr. Circus. He's a great uh, natural doctor out of Brazil, does a lot of research on all the things that I yeah, like. This and was written July 25th of this year. He says it's in the middle of the summer, and the fact that it's snowing in France and in Russia is just one indication we're suffering from a cooling trend and not a warming one. There you go, cooling trend, not a warming Temperatures one. Temperatures are heading down in Canada they're breaking all cold records as far as back as 9 or 1871 that's 146 years each month we travel faster into a cold climate and a mini ice age heralded by scientists who know what they are talking about uh, the thing is uh, here's a chart uh, these are two different uh, methods of showing the temperatures one is the NOAA which is the red, and he, these are the actual temperatures that are recorded around the world. So you can see there's a big disconnect in it, actually. What, oh, what's real being big recorded. disconnect. And uh, Mike Adams on Natural News has a big article this last week about how they're fudging the numbers. Yeah. The climate change, the, the global warming thing. Yeah. Man made global warming is a mental disease, he yeah. says, as and well as a power trip. And you've heard a lot about the ice sheets melting in Greenland and Ar Antarctica. Mm -hmm. The uh, uh, Greenland ice sheet is gaining near record amounts this year. Temperatures on the Greenland ice sheet have been extremely cold. In fact, the coldest ever recorded, uh, minus 33C and 274 uh, Fahrenheit, was in July of this year in the summertime. So uh, that was a pretty cold, cool number for sure. Yeah, so, uh, so really the conclusive findings of all this research is um, that much of the data that we're getting out of the global warming camp is not representation of reality. And in fact, the magnitude of their, of their historical data adjustments, or fudging the numbers, so to speak, um, really is, is creating a, a, a real disconnect on what's truly going on. Yeah, a lot of reports about fudging the numbers. Uh, and of course, it's warm today here in Florida. but It's hard uh, to believe sometimes because we're sitting here. Yeah. The sun feels very hot. But There's as this graph shows, uh, people probably can't see it at the distance behind you, Nico. But, you know, in our modern warm period at the end of the... Ch that's where we are. So there's a little... We're kind of finishing that up. And what we expect to see is quite a precipitous drop after we're out of that. And, and this is kind you, of a warm you, period you were talking about. Yeah, that's you can what see I was talking these spikes about. Mm -hmm. are much, it's been much, much warmer in the past, especially uh, in the uh, Roman era, but even way farther back, about 3,500 years ago, much warmer than it is today. And now we're heading downward. Right, correct. So um, my whole thing about this is I want people to be prepared. That's why I bring this up. Uh, I've been stockpiling food. I recommend that you do that too and uh, start finding different ways. Uh, if we do get an EMP from the sun uh, that knocks out electricity for uh, three months, six months, we're You want to make sure trouble. you can get food, yeah. have food stored. It's and just, protect yourself. It's just smart. Yeah. It's smart primal stuff. That's the show today, guys. Thanks for sticking we'll around, see you folks. next week. Have bye a good bye. day. Basil Chapman will be giving a two-series webinar Wednesday, August 22nd and Wednesday, August 16th from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Can sector rotation buoy the market into 2018? Each time the market feels it's ready to have a sharp decline, formerly weak sectors rally to hold the market up. This two-webinar series will be free for Basil's opening call subscribers, and non-subscribers will also receive his daily newsletter for one month free as a trial subscription. Sign up for a 30-day free trial to Basil's daily newsletter, The Opening Call, and gain access to his subscriber-only webinar on August 2nd and Wednesday, August 16th from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Can sector rotation buoy the market into 2018? Hi, everyone. This is Basil Chapman, and I'm looking forward to seeing you at my webinar series. To sign up for a 30-day free trial to Basil's daily newsletter and gain access to Basil's webinar, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You're watching Tiger TV.